What's going on everyone? So today we're going to learn how to make a smooth cut. Smooth split. Smooth transition. Smooth fade. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. What? How the heck did I do that? I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. Okay, so how exactly do you do a smooth transition, split, cut, all that fun stuff? So you see here, um, basically I've got two different videos going here. Um, now, initially when you import the two videos, this is how it will show up. They will both be on the same line. You do not want that. What you want to do is select the last one that you have and bring that one down so use the up arrow first I don't know why it does it this way that's just that's how it does it or another thing yeah actually I think that's the only way it'll work let's see what happens if we select that nope doesn't work up okay yep yeah, that works so you can actually just select the first one move that one up one and uh, now what you want to do is overlap these two now I'm not sure if you're aware you can drag that down so you can see the actual timeline within the video now you want to overlap the two of these so basically what will happen if you don't is this it's a very quick snap cut What? still you now in a certain matter of speaking it is pretty decent um, now, what a lot of people probably run into, which uh, has actually happened to me as well, if you come over here, you can actually zoom in to the timeline. So what happens to some people is they accidentally move one of the clips by, even if it's just a slight, slight bit. Uh, let's move this one. Okay, so we'll move that back. now. In regards to video, this makes a big difference. So let's play it. And you'll see there's that slight black box right here. Obviously, you don't want that. <clears throat> now, what you can do to make sure everything's lined up, select one, select where you want the end of this, where you want this one to start at the end of this. Click the next keyframe arrow that will take it to the very end of this first clip drag that over and it'll snap into place and boom there you go now how do you make a smooth transition that's why you came here so let's see here where exactly do I finish talking that's what we're gonna do Okay, so there, uh, let's extend it a little bit. Now drag this over. You want it to overlap. So now that it's overlapped, when you play it back, what? it looks the same, right? But now let's see what happens if we actually add a fade out on the top one because it's going to fade out into this one right so let's go to editor video effects transparency and let's do a fade out we'll leave it at one second and now in this pan paint that in this window pane here on the right side you can change the duration of how long that is drawn for so if you want to extend it to you know a 10 second fade now, if you watch down here, you'll notice it's going to actually stretch out. See? But now, this is where that other clip begins. So, this is going to go into the clip you don't want that to go into. In other words, let's play this. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. What? How the heck did I do that? So I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. Now that's completely unnecessary because this is 
tied to that first clip, which is on a different layer. All right, so let's move this, let's put this back to one second, because that's all we really need. All right, that's one second right to the end. Let's see how it looks. What? Now, what you can do to make it a little bit smoother is add a fade in on the bottom one. So let's go into transparency. Let's do a fade in and let's keep it at one second. And again, on this panel here is where you can make all your changes. And now let's see what that looks like. I do. What? How the heck did I do that? Well, I'm gonna now you know exactly how I did that. And it's the same if you want to split things. Um, well, for example, let's say, let's see here. If I want to split this, it's the exact same thing. So, no, we want to move that one down. We want to overlap it slightly. And let's add another fade in. It's going to look really, really weird. And here we go. I can do that. I'm going to show you right now. Let so, and like I said, it's going to look really weird, but it literally is that simple as long as you actually are doing it and paying attention to exactly what it is that you're doing I'm just going back so I undo all these changes here okay uh, yeah the splits still there there we go okay so yeah that's what we're gonna do what how the heck did I do that so there you go very very simple way to uh, maximize your splitting cutting transitioning from one clip to another smoothly and effortlessly thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any other questions on vsdc i'll see if i can help you out let me know leave your comments down below and you will see me on my next video oh that whole thing rhymed what check me out next time